The Seismic Loading tab is where you enter your seismic settings for your structure and area. In this video, you'll learn what properties you can set on the Seismic Loading tab. This tab will only be visible for International Building Codes, or IBC, 2018 and newer. The tab is not available for National Building Codes of Canada, or NBCC. Seismic overstrength will only be calculated for beams flush and drop for both floor and roof when the Apply Seismic Overstrength Design checkbox is checked on in the Member Info tab. Input your overstrength factor, greater than zero, but not greater than three. Design parameter at short periods, greater than zero, but not greater than two, and select the seismic design category. On the Loads tab, the original seismic load will be replaced with Seismic QE once the Seismic Member Settings checkbox is checked. Please enter the appropriate Seismic QE load. If the checkbox was not checked on in Member Info, the original Seismic load will remain. When the Apply Seismic Overstrength Design checkbox is checked on, you must enter a Seismic QE load for the member to be designed. Once the member is designed, the Report tab will have updated notes showing that seismic overstrength was used. After you select your seismic load settings, be sure to save them as the default, so new jobs get created with these selections. You will see this button on multiple tabs. Saving defaults can save you time by setting up your jobs, levels, or members the way you want them. If you ever need to reset these defaults, go to Settings and click Reset All Job Defaults. If you need more information about the Seismic Loading tab, launch help or chat with someone on the support team.